This short video is going to explain to you how to use interproximal or interdental brushes to clean between your teeth where the toothbrush cannot reach. The reason that we need to brush in between the teeth with interproximal or interdental brushes is to get the plaque that the toothbrush cannot get. If we don't, we can get cavities between the teeth and we'll also get gum disease on that gum crest that lies between the teeth. This area, if it's neglected or not brushed, was a major cause of gum disease. And as I've shown in this model, gum disease will eat away the bony support for the teeth between the teeth. And these large triangular spaces do need cleaning. The electric brush cannot go through these gaps. Otherwise, as I showed previously, the teeth can get lost with bone loss and gum disease. So how do we use TPs? TP is a make of interproximal brush. There are many others. This just happens to be the one I like. It has a um, bristles on it and it's very good for cleaning in all the gaps. And it cleans the bulk of the bacteria out. It doesn't, can't be used instead of floss. It has to be used as well as floss because literally it just cleans that triangle out not where the teeth touch each other. And if you clean that area really well, you shouldn't get receding gums. First of all, um, you dip the little brush in toothpaste. Once for the whole upper arch, you do the whole upper teeth. And when you've done all the upper teeth, you dip it in again and do the lowers. That will not only clean in between the teeth, but put a little bit of toothpaste between the teeth, which will help keep them nice and healthy. The important thing with TPs and interproximal cleaning is that's the first job that has to be done. You have to TP first, then floss, then electric brush. With the TPs, if you have a mouth like this one we have here, with beautiful healthy gums that are pink and not bleeding, it would be assumed that this doesn't need much cleaning, but this is why it's beautiful and pink and healthy. The TP brush is a small interproximal brush which will go between the teeth and will clean really efficiently all the bulk of the bacteria in that small triangle. We carry on round doing every single gap. This is the smallest one they make and how I find really successful is if it's tight like this one is to wiggle it a bit and then it just slides through a few brushes backwards and forwards. And you remember that when we talked in the previous, uh, when I showed you on the model, we dip it in a bit of toothpaste first. So you actually get some toothpaste between. When we're doing further back, it's sometimes an idea to bend the brush. You can bend the brush about that angle. If you see that angle, so that if you're going for the very back teeth up here, you can easily get between them without the lips being in the way. If, they're, if it's too straight, it's too hard to get the angle right. So a small bend of approximately that angle will make all the difference. When you've TP'd all the gaps, you do all the top and bottom teeth, then it's time to get flossing.